Okay, we got. I'm not religious. I don't pray. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we got round we one go. of pool, or we got round two of pools. Round one of this match, we, we got, got Pajama Jihad versus and Blood. Bloodbeard. Um, Bloodbeard. So pretty solid Rosalina players. Just started popping up in the scene recently. Mm. Definitely repping this woman very, very well here. But uh, Pajama Jihad is like, nah, I don't have no. time for any no, I am, space case business. Now I'm getting rid of Luma as fast as possible, and you're going to fight me by yourself. Falco's like, nah, I flew by the planet last week. <laughs> uh, I don't like it. No, you're done. But, uh, oh, he got grabbed. And this is where the Rosalina game begins. Usually when she gets a grab, you don't get to you don't, the yeah. stage ever again. You just get to float, and you get those ha halos everywhere. But, um... But yeah. you gotta get these um, Lumas problem Luma solved. So he will. I promise you, he will look after. He will look for those Lumas, and he will make sure that Luma's dead. Yeah, he's got his Luma problem solved, but he had did not make a whole lot out of it. And now Luma's no. back to to wreak some havoc. But there goes. Oh, there's that up throw up. I swear, if that would have killed, I, I probably would have just got up and walked away <laughs> personally. Right. But um, ooh, the down smash. Oh, he tried to hit him with that sneaky yeah, Luma, Luma hitbox. Yeah. I saw that. So, still, still pretty evenly matched game though. So yeah, we still got a pretty evenly matched. Uh, I see. And there comes Luma. Oh, okay. that down tilt. Kill? Down wow. tilt. You didn't know down tilt killed. Down tilt kill at like like 120. It's pretty safe. All right. It's, an, it's no one expects it. Respectable. Yep. I I this guy. I am uh, Pajama's roommate. I see this crap daily. Fair enough. That, you would know. That down tilt is his bread and butter. That that down tilt to up throw up air is his bread and butter. He will throw that out, and he will get it. Uh, Rosalina's uh, bread and butter is basically touching you. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, as soon as she touches you, you get hit with every move. Yeah. All of them. It doesn't really matter. Even the move that absorbs projectiles. Yeah. Because he just can. dropped down real quick because he was praying that he could get that down air. Mm. Oh, Hoping for that roll to him. PJJ is uh Wow. Ooh. Okay. What's going on? I guess uh Blood lost a jump there. Yeah. So right now, Jump Jihad has got a commanding lead right now, oh, which is really hard to have against Rosalina at any given point in time. But mm. here we go. Yeah. So he is just basically if he just kind of minds his uh, P's and Q's and mm. um he just get, he's just hitting what he knows he hits, not really taking any risk. Yeah, he's like, been jumping. He's been jumping off, praying for a dare or not a dare, uh, a down air. Like I was right. Uh, I like his his side B pressure off stage because he's like jumping out and he's like Shoo! yeah, just you making, can't have this space. Yeah, just making sure you know you can't be here. This yeah. is mine. Now, this is a this is a no flying yeah. zone. Unless this, my name's Falco. Yeah. So this horizontal area is mine to control. You get there, you get spiked. Down. Oh, Ooh, so Luma that was so good for the match. So you don't throw out that reflect. You don't. You forget the reflect reflectors a thing sometimes because you play so fast. But when you throw it out and he knows you're doing it, he will just pop that out real quick. Yeah, and uh, Bloodbeard was on the receiving end of his own Luma. Oh yeah, so definitely gonna uh, keep that in mind for this next match. For the next match, do you think Blood's gonna change it out, or do you think he's gonna stay with Rosa? Nah, he's a pretty. He's a pretty Dedicated Luma. Does he uh, have Rosa Luma Lane. Uh, he plays Donkey Kong, actually. Mm. He has a Donkey Kong. Well, don't, to be fair, Donkey Kong would actually be a pretty good matchup. Falco is made, is a bird, so he has those brittle bird bones. Just a good few smashes sends him flying at about a 70, actually. Well, considering that it's Donkey Kong, everyone in the game has brittle bird bones. That's fair <laughs> enough. Except for Donkey Kong and maybe Bowser and DDD. <laughs> True facts. But I will almost guarantee. Well, it's time for me to go. Are you switching off? Is starting. So I gotta oh, go. I, my pull's starting too. Okay. We'll be back later, right after pools, when bracket begins. I am ready. Alrighty, so it looks like we got my boy Gadian on the mic and. Open. And it looks like we have an interesting matchup right here. Uh, do you know what's the count on this right now? Is it 1-0? Uh, 
I think, yeah, it's 1-0. Okay, 1-0 uh, looks with like... Uh, Falco winning the previous match. With Falco winning the previous match. All right. We're going to get into this real quick. Looks like they're deciding on their banning right now. It's going to be an interesting matchup. Who do you think is going to be in the favor for this one? Uh, I'm thinking Falco. Falco? Based on his performance in the previous match. That was just a powerhouse performance. Powerhouse of Oh, but he's going to Lucina. Hold on just a second. I'm going to get in the player cam so you know exactly what I look like. And now, folks, you know exactly what Guardian looks like. All right, here we go. Looks like they're deciding to go to Dreamland. Ooh, ooh, this will be an interesting setup right here. <clears throat> Let's get this bad boy cracking right here, right now. Let's go. Ooh. All right, Lucina. Alright, going in, alright, going in tough. Okay, I was pretty sure he was going to win with Falco, but with the switch to Lucina, I'm not so sure. Yeah, that was an interesting switch up on that bad boy, but maybe he feels more confident in his Lucina than he did in the Falco. Alrighty, and Blood's already getting the grief popping right now, right here. Lucina's struggling to get back on stage. Let's see. Oh, hoo -hoo. and she said not today, though. Hmm. All right, let's see if we're going to trade off positions. Nope, we're going to get back on stage with a decent road for the comeback. Lucina, from using those neutral airs. Really early in the match, it's already looking really interesting. Really interesting. <laughs> Tried to read the roll with that off dash, but didn't happen. Rosa, with using that nice recovery and timing it. Really good right now. Alrighty, folks. Well, it looks like I gotta head on out of here, so I got my matches to play, but I will be back. Wish him luck. Now I'm all alone on the mic. And Rosalina draws first blood with Lucina taking the first stock. Nice neutral air. Going for. Oh, missed side smash. Alright. Rosalina trying to. Try and chain some up airs. Looks like it's not connect. Nice counter. Looks like those up airs are not connected. I don't know why. I know Rosalina has a really good recovery, but whenever she's off stage and really low and in her magnifier, I think she's just not gonna make it, and it takes me off guard every time she does. Nice up smash. really interesting. It's neck and neck right now. With Rosalina having a 5% lead. No, not anymore. Spoke too soon. I didn't even notice the stocks. Whoops. Oh! Rosalina... Lucina, excuse me. Lucina takes the first stock off of Rosalina. Really interesting. That switch from Falco really caught us off guard. Because, because, oh! That was, it wasn't even a, it wasn't even a spike, but still a kill. All right. Again, that switch to Lucina was really interesting because he had such a powerhouse performance with Falco. He had a two-stock lead when the game ended, and the switch to Lucina, interesting to say the least. Trying to go for the shield break, not connecting. Up smash, not connecting. Forward smash, not connecting. Oh, too much momentum, almost didn't make it back on stage. Yeah, just kill Voluma while you can. Voluma is... Voluma's side smash is actually a lot more powerful than Rosalina's in terms of launch power. And it's looking like Rosalina is going to take this, but you never know. Anything could happen. Maybe Lucina will be able to pull through. Forward throw, will this do it? Oh! It won't. 
Lucina is not going down without a fight. Definitely not. Oh, that's gonna do it. Game two goes to Rosalina. All right, now we're gonna move on to game three. Hopefully, they make the right decision and switch back to Falco. But, if he doesn't, then who am I to judge? I'm just a commentator. Right. Oh, switch back to Falco. That's good. It's funny how before matches, when they're choosing characters and stuff like that, they're just talking and laughing happily. It's funny, but when the match actually starts, they just have deadpan faces. It's pretty funny. Alright, on to game three. Switch back to Falco. Let's see what happens. Trying to connect those nares, not connecting at all. Jab onto Luma. Luma is gone. Take those 14 seconds and do as much damage to Rosalina as you can. You've gotten rid of her Luma. She is vulnerable. Oh, nice fair. Oh! Uh, Rosalina makes it back onto the stage. Nice jab. Nice forward smash. Try and get rid of that Luma. We've got a new guy on the mic. Hey, what's up? Silent here. Uh, who we have playing? Bloodbeard and Rose? Yep. Right, Rosalina, Falco. I don't know anything about either of these characters or the matchup. Uh, in game one, Falco delivered a powerhouse performance like he is right now. In the second game, he switched to Lucina, which did not go so well. And this is game three? Yes, this is game three. And Falco has the lead right now. Uh, well, I mean, he seems to be doing good. Um, he's up a stock, has a nice percent lead. So, he's doing something right. Changing the up aerials. I think a lot of Falco's aerials would um, actually cancel, like, Luma and hit her away. Of course, like that. Because he prefers space the air. Him, space him apart. But I think he can really get his recovery really easily, so just probably be careful. Rosalina takes the first dock off of Falco. Rosalina at 32%. It's actually not that hard to make this up. Like, it's really not that big of a lead. If it keeps going like that, it will be. Yeah. That's, okay. As of now, it's, it's a pretty good lead. <laughs> yeah. Falco's kind of just going away with the stock. He just needs to get rid of that Luma, and Rosalina will be vulnerable. Uh, I think Rosalina would have a better chance. There goes the Luma. If uh, she actually spaced Luma out more and used her... To set up like kind of like a, a barrier form instead yeah. of just keeping her attached. Abuse the Luma shot, keep them apart so you can attack Falco even from a distance. Yeah, like it also would make her harder to head, to, um, head shot right now. Or, like, uh, head shot. Oh, nice up air. Almost kills, but not quite. Yeah, it's gonna be really hard for Rosalina to out outplay Falco in the air. So I think she really needs to stay grounded right now. Looks like Rosalina doesn't prefer the air. But I actually know Blitter is a pretty good Rosalina, so it's actually kind of impressive to see Falco's kind of being dominant right now. Yeah. Falco is just a mid-tier. Rosalina's top tier. This is actually very surprising. From what I've seen from a lot of good Falco players, I definitely think Falco's kind of slept on. Like, not too much. Like, I don't think he's like a really like high, like, top tier or anything. But I guess think yeah, he has more potential. Yeah, he'd be sort of mid-high? Yeah, probably around there. Like maybe I, I don't, A minus, B plus? I think, I think people have him like maybe C, C minus right now. Maybe that's, I can see, I can see like maybe C plus. That's definitely very underrated. Uh, with the lack of results and his matchups against the other top tiers, I'd put him at maybe B plus or B. C plus is oh, definitely way even underrated. game right now. Definitely an even game. One stock for each. Yeah. So this decides the game. Who takes this up? Rosalina trying to actually have a pretty good lead right now. 
which is surprising because Falco actually had the lead in the first game. Maybe Bloodbeard is trying to turn this around. I don't know, maybe Bloodbeard hasn't downloaded. He's about to get it done. The D tilts, keeping Falco off the stage. I actually think a little bit of rage, or maybe a bit more sin. I think up smash might kill Falco. Um, yeah. Not 100% sure, I think. Maybe an up throw to an up air. That may do it. Yeah, that could also do it. She might need to string a couple of them together, but it's definitely doable. Yes. But I think he needs a little bit of rage before he commits oh. anything. Ooh, that was close. Before he can really commit to anything. If Rosalina hits an up smash or an up air, or pretty much any powerful Ooh. attack in general, it could spell doom for Falco. Yeah. Could really take it. Oh. Oh. oh! Yes! That's the set. That Bloodbeard nice. takes it. It's exactly what you need to do. Just disconnect Luma and hit her or something. 